Hey, this is Aryan Shaw, and you're watching the behind the scenes of how we made the Still Alive music video. Still Alive is a record about dealing with mental health, uh, the struggles with addiction and relapse. This record was definitely a tribute to some of the idols that I lost, including uh, Mac Miller, Lil Peep, uh, Prince, people who died to overdose and um, dealing with their own struggles with mental health. So one of the first shots that we come in on is the Newton's Cradle. And I think one of the most important elements in that shot is seeing my hand come in and pull the first ball. The Newton's Cradle is basically a metaphor for every action has a reaction. And once I pull the first ball, it just goes back and forth moving independently. So at the end of the water shot, we start to see rose petals falling in the water, which cuts to rose petals falling off of the dying rose, which we were actually inspired by the cursed rose in Beauty and the Beast, which kind of served as this hourglass effect for us, you know, where, where you think, yeah, I'm still alive, but for how long? And at that point, I think the smoke starts to fill up the vase in which to me that really uh, visualized claustrophobia and feeling trapped inside this vase with this dying rose. From here, you start seeing the smoke coming out of my mask or well, really going back into my mask. And it served obviously the the visual of it being drugs as a way to escape, but it also really gave me that uh, feeling of such intense uh, suffocation where you progressively see the smoke just go back inside my body. Then we get to the hands, which is also another one of my favorite parts of the video. The hands uh, they mean a couple different things. The first thing I think you might notice is that there are four different sets of hands and you could see that when you get the individual shots of some have rings, each uh, obviously set of nails are different. And that goes to show that sometimes love and companionship is just a distraction from what you're really feeling inside. The last visual piece that we introduce in this sequence is the sparks raining down. Um, and as you start to get an in-depth look, um, you know, close-ups from my head down, you can see the individual sparks burning my clothes, my skin, my shoes. And they're supposed to represent attention and scrutiny. And I think being in a position where you're struggling with your own mental health, too much of that um, can be dangerous to you and be dangerous to your situation. And it's definitely about finding that balance, which is why I love that towards the end of the hook, the sparks start to die down and we end on a frame of me being half lit and, and illuminated by the remains of the sparks and half in the dark. So now we've reached the end of the video where I'm back in the water and I'm much deeper. The water starts to come off a lot more lonely, a lot darker, there's, uh, there's less light going in there. Um, one of the great things about this part is that we have these 10, 12 second shots showing my hands and my face looking lifeless. And the last frame is by far the best shot of the video because it goes to show that even when you're drowning to rock bottom, you're still alive. Thank you guys for watching our behind the scenes on how we made Still Alive. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope you enjoyed the music. If you or someone you love needs help, please don't hesitate to reach out.